Hi, welcome to Physionic, where we learn the body from the macro to the micro. In this content, we'll be looking at some science on how high fructose corn syrup at varying amounts affects weight, cholesterol, as well as blood fat, known as triglyceride levels. Learn Your Body, a science-based education. This data comes from a study I will have linked for you as well as my notes and any amendments that may follow. A bit on the study design before jumping into the data and what information we can take away from this study, the researchers recruited 85 healthy young participants, men and women, and non-randomly assigned them to one of four groups to make sure the four groups were equal across measurement outcomes like energy intake, weight, age, sex, cholesterol, triglycerides, and other measures. The four groups were, one, the 0% high fructose corn syrup group, or HFCS group, meaning they consumed a drink with no HFCS, but sweetened with artificial sweetener. The second, which was 10% HFCS group, meaning they consumed a drink with 10% of it made of high fructose corn syrup. Third, a 17.5% high fructose corn syrup group, and fourth, a 25% high fructose corn syrup group. The high fructose corn syrup was defined as 55% fructose. Participants were told to continue their food consumption at a weight maintenance level, which was calculated energy intake for them, and have one of their respective drinks with each meal while cutting out all other sugary drinks for two weeks. So what did the data show? Well, their weight did not increase in a statistically significant manner, but looking at the data and the fact that the significance value is clearly showing a trend, it isn't far-fetched to think that if they had continued the study another two weeks, there would have been a statistically significant increase in body weight. Now, looking at the cholesterol measures in a fasting state and after eating food, you do see a significant increase in non-HDL cholesterol with increased high fructose corn syrup consumption, which is confirmed with an increase in LDL or low density lipoprotein and ApoB, a marker protein in several types of cholesterol containing vessels. Turning our attention to triglycerides, we see the data is split into three, fasting, overall 24 hour average, and after eating. In all conditions, the group consuming 25% high fructose corn syrup drinks had elevated triglycerides, but after eating, all high fructose corn syrup consuming groups experienced elevated triglycerides relative to the group that did not consume HFCS 55. So all of it together, what does it tell us? It tells us that more high fructose corn syrup consumed over our weight maintenance calorie consumption, the worse the health outcome as measured. This means that cholesterol gets universally worse and triglycerides are elevated, usually after a meal, relative to people who do not consume high fructose corn syrup. However, if these effects are independent of weight change is unknown. Either way, this study shows increases in cholesterol and triglycerides, and this makes sense as according to the researchers, fructose consumption is primarily taken up by the liver, which leads to increased de novo lipogenesis, otherwise known as self-made fat molecule production, which increases triglycerides, but also increases the packaging or vessel production known as very low density lipoproteins, VLDL, that carry triglycerides, fat molecules, within them in the bloodstream. So with that data and explanation out of the way, this is where we depart. I hope this was informative and I hope to have the pleasure of speaking with you in the future. Cheers. Cheers.